Recently, I reviewed the Bluetti EB70S portable power station. Well, now Bluetti has sent me something else. Their PV200 solar panel. If you're interested in hearing my initial thoughts on this, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, a few things I want to mention. First off, I am working in my backyard here today. It is a beautiful day, but uh, still you're going to hear people mowing their lawn. You may hear vehicles. I just heard sirens a few minutes ago, so that's the reason for that. Uh, the next thing I want to tell you is that it's early November, and while it is a perfectly sunny day, it is not the ideal conditions for using a solar panel because of the time of year and the latitude I'm at. We're at about the 45th latitude. It's not midsummer. It is around lunchtime, so this is as good as, as good as it's going to get today. Not a cloud in the sky. As good as it's going to get, but still I don't expect the panel will reach its peak efficiency. Okay, so what we'll do is I'm going to show you the panel uh, closed. I'll give you bare information on it because everything else I'll put in the video description. I'll open it up. I will show you how it connects to the EB70S and we'll see what kind of current we can get from it. So here is the PV200 solar panel from Bluetti in its folded up uh, carry state. So right now, let me give you this information. It's 16.1 pounds. Uh, it is about 24 inches square. And I suppose right now it resides probably about an inch and a half thick the way it is. It is four panels that will fold out. So once it is folded out, it'll be about 24 inches by eight feet. And uh, let me show you quickly a few of the things on here, how it's held together. You can see there's a nice uh, carry handle up here, makes it quite convenient. There are two little buckles like this one holding everything together as the panels fold inside of itself. There is a pouch right here that you can see that has a waterproof zipper on it, although uh, it's still a good idea to not let this get wet so it's not waterproof for the rain that's important to understand you have to keep it from getting rained on but inside of here is a cable which i'll show you again in a moment with the mc4 connectors and it is nine feet in length which is kind of nice all the technical information is written inside of here as well and there are three fold-out legs that are kickstands are often ta uh, uh, referred to that to help you set it up so it'll stay upright. And what I want to show you about those kickstands right now, if I can get in here close enough, is they're Velcroed shut, but as they fold out, you can see like that, there is a strap and with a dome strap on it right here that allows you to pick the angle you want it to set for. And one of the dome snaps is marked at 45 degrees, so that's helpful as well. All right, I'm gonna pull the camera back a little bit and I'll set this up in front of the uh, EB70S power station so you can see it going together. And then we'll hook it up and see what kind of current it draws. I have the EB70S setting on a little platform here just to keep it off of the damp grass. Uh, so, okay, let's unfold this. And you'll see right away that it has, which way does it go? Yeah, this way. So it's quite large. Folds in on itself, as you can see. And I'll have to pull the kickstands out on the back. Three kickstands on this one. One panel does not have a kickstand. That's not a very good angle. There we go, that's a bit better. All right, so I am facing nicely to the sun in this direction, so I'm in perfect alignment this way. The problem I don't know for sure, and there are tricks for doing it, where you can know whether or not you're at the correct angle this way. And I suspect I am pretty close to what it should be for this time of year and the location of the sun, but um, and it does make a difference, trust me, even a little bit of an angle, one way or the other, can make a huge difference in the amount of current it will deliver. All right, I'll bring the camera around so you can see me hooking it up to the EB70S right here. All right, this is uh, the pouch that I showed a minute ago. Find the zippers on it so I can get the cable out. And what's nice about having a cable this long, of course, is that you can move this into the sunshine while keeping your power station out of the sunshine, which is important because you don't want this to overheat. So having a longer cable allows you to do that. Now, 
on this are the MC4 connectors. You can see the two of them here. And these can be used with any power station that will uh, allow you to connect with MC4. Now, usually there's an adapter cable. There has to be for even the Blue Eddy. But uh, as long as you can connect to your power station with an MC4 connector like this, then you're good to go. So in order to do this, Bluetti included with the EB70S the other half of the cable, the other half of the MC4. So all I need to do is match up the cables, black to black, red to red. Cable is fully hooked up. And there's the barrel tube. Plug her in. And pretty quickly we should start to see the wattage being delivered. I'll get a close-up on this. I had to put a wind or a sunblock around the uh, unit so that you could see it. There we go. Now I can see it. All right, 135 watts input. That's what is being delivered by this solar panel. All right, after a bit of manipulation there so that I could get away from the sunshine so you could see the solar panel, you could see that it was drawing 135 watts. Um, I know it's a 200 watt panel, but from what I understand so far is, given the day of the year it is, even though it is perfectly sunny and the right time of day, 135 watts from a 200 watt solar panel is still very, very good. Actually, I'm very impressed with it. Um, it has about 80% of its charge, and I think in less than an hour, I could do the math for you, but in less than an hour, that should fully charge my EB70S. A uh, couple things I've learned so far is, of course, is make sure that your battery bank itself is not in the sun. Even as I plug that in, I could hear the cooling fans inside of the power station trying to keep it cool. So make sure it doesn't get overheated. Make sure your solar panel doesn't get wet. Wet meaning don't let it leave it out in the rain. It's, it's fine where it is now, even with the grass being a little damp. Uh, yeah, so that's really all I can tell you about it right now. I plan to do a lot more testing. Actually, I want to see what it would be like in the middle of winter, January, February, uh, what kind of uh, power I can get from it, even though I'll have to make sure that it doesn't get below the operating temperature for the battery bank. It'll still be interesting to see if I can get some current draw on it. And then I expect by next spring, I'll be ready to take this car camping with me where I intend for it to power my fridge that I'll be purchasing between now and then. Like I said, I don't have a lot of experience on it. It's not a long-term use review. It's an introduction to show you how the panel connects to the power station. And I will come back with more information. But if you have any questions or comments on this setup that I have, please put them in the video or under the video description in the comments section. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.